In this specific video, you're going to learn how to post to your blog via email. Now, this is going to be split up into two separate videos. In this specific video, I'm going to show you how to set everything up, set up an email address, connect it to WordPress, and so forth. And in the video after this, I'm going to show you how to set up cron jobs so that you can automate the whole process. Now, the beauty of posting to your blog via email is it's very convenient, especially if you have a smartphone. Now, with iPhones and everything like that, there are apps for WordPress. However, you have to go there, you have to log in, and this and that. So, with this technique, you could either go to any computer, use your smartphone of any kind, whether it has the app or not, and simply email an address and it'll post straight to your WordPress blog. So this is very very interesting. The first thing you need to do is of course go to settings and click on writing and about in the middle of the page you'll notice a section that says post via email. So what we need to do now is to create an email account that is specifically only for this purpose. Do not use an email address that you are using regularly. Otherwise, every email that goes to that email address is going to become a post. So what we need to do now is create an email address. You can create an email address with Gmail, you can create an email address with anything, as long it has pop3 access. If it doesn't have pop3 access and if you're unsure then you may not want to use that provider. With Gmail they provide pop3 access. If you have a website and you have cPanel which is what I'm about to use I can show you how to create an email address and how to set it all up. So right now I am at cPanel and if I click on email accounts I can create an email address here. Now if you look very carefully it says you need to keep this address very secret. In other words don't tell anybody of this address because if somebody knows about this address they can email this address and stuff is going to go onto your WordPress site and you don't want that. So you can use some random strings here to help you out. So we're going to choose this one and we're going to create an email address here and make sure you save this data and then enter a password click create account and with cPanel if you click on more and click on configure email account it'll give you more information for pop3 access and this is the information that we're going to need and the incoming mail server is normally mail.yourdomain.com so what I'm going to do is go back to WordPress and fill in the details here so the login name will be the email address change this and change the password and whatever password you use enter that here and then the default mail category whatever category you have set here is where all of your posts are going to go under so you could set up a category specifically for posts that are done via email and then I'm going to set the port number at 110 now under cPanel it tells me to set it at 25 however I'm finding that port 110 for me is the what I need to use and if you use this and it doesn't work you'll need to contact your web hosting company to find out which port number you need to use so when I enter this information here and I click on save changes the next step is to send a test email to this address here so I'm going to use Gmail and I'm going to enter the 
email here. The subject line is going to be the title of your post. So in this case, I can call it funny t-shirts, t-shirt ideas, creative funny t-shirt ideas. And at the top here, if you put a, you're going to need to put a pound sign and put something like, here are some creative funny t-shirt ideas. And I can make ordered lists if I want to. I can say number one, pizza theme, slug theme, have a salt shaker, chasing a slug. Now if you want to bold a certain text, you're going to need to put two stars before and two stars after. So if we do that here and here, and we click on send, the next thing you'll need to do is to go to yourdomain.com. So it's yourdomain.com slash wherever you install your WordPress files, if it's in the directory, in the root, or in the subdirectory, and then put wp-mail.php. Now in this case, I've installed it at checkthisoutrightnow.net slash funnytees slash wp-mail.php. So if I trigger the specific address, what happens is every time you email WordPress that specific address, WordPress is basically going to put the post in a pending box. So in other words, unless you trigger this specific address, it's not going to put the post on the WordPress site. So you need to trigger this URL. And you'll notice here it says author one posted title creative funny t-shirt ideas mission has been completed. So if I go back to the live site here and I refresh the page, you can see here that the creative funny t-shirt ideas post has been created. Now back to this question, how do you automate this process? Well, you're going to need to set up what we call a cron job that will automatically trigger this URL here every hour, every day, and so forth. And that's what I'll be showing you in the next video.